Alrighty guys, welcome back to Tool Time, where we do nothing but tool hauls, tool review, how-to videos, and giveaways, and exposing the good, the bad, the ugly tools. This is going to be a ratchet video, and I threw a pair of pliers that I just bought this morning in there for no reason. But anyways, and there's going to be a knife giveaway in this video, somewhere in the video, you have to watch the whole video to find the word, but either at the top of the video, bottom of the video, on the side, there'll be a word, and you have to comment that word down below in the comments and like the video to be entered to win that knife. And I'll show you the knife midway through the video that you can get a chance to win. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and jump into this right after this. Catch you in a second. <laughs> Alrighty guys, what's up? So to start out with, we'll go ahead and get the pliers out of the way since this is mainly a ratchet video. I picked up another little set of the Knipex 8603180, made in Germany as everybody knows. I like these little guys so I picked up a set to have on my truck as well because I have them in, in my box in the shop. So I grabbed these to put on my truck. These are perfect little size ones. I mean there's not much more to explain about them. There is what it is. You got your little button here you push to change your size. And if you do not have these pliers, I recommend buying these. I used to buy nothing but Snap-on until I really got into the Nipex line and started messing with them. These things, I'm telling you, when you bite onto something and you keep squeezing and squeezing, they apply pressure the whole time you are squeezing. They don't stop applying pressure. But that's that for those ones. All right, guys, so... The Napa that's a couple towns over just got bought by an individual and believe it or not, and I'm so, so devastated and disappointed about this, but since it was bought by an individual and it's not a corporate store no more, he made the decision, and this isn't a bright decision, I don't know why he did this, but he is not going to carry the Carlisle brand no more, they're only going to carry Craftsman tools, no non-Carlisle tools. So they had all this Carlisle stuff in cardboard boxes sitting along one of these aisles on the floor and they were all marked down and stuff so I went through and grabbed a couple random things and I'm supposed to go back this weekend he's going to give me a call the, the owner and let me know when they fully get all their Carlisle stuff dug out from the back and everything and put out there so I can go in there and go through everything and buy what I need or buy multiples of what I already have stuff for the trucks but this is just a 3 8 drive flex head Flex handle, breaker bar. Part number FH38. It's not no long one or nothing like that. Nice little 3 8 bar to have, in, have on hand whenever you need it, though. Nifty little one. Picked up another one of these. This is your 3 8 locking flex. The part number on that, R38LFQR. Of course, little button there bam 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 you get the flexing on the haters or you can lock it and stay with the haters but I'd rather flex on them so you might as well just keep flexing and then picked up two of these icon ratchets let's go ahead and get these opened up and I'll be right back yes so the comfort grip yes in the past I have said I hate the comfort grip hate the comfort grip but you know what I'm a person that if I hate something I'm going to go ahead and I bought it and I'm going to work with it for a month or two, maybe two, three, four months, who knows, and see if I can actually get the feel for it and get the comfort and see if I can actually like it or absolutely hate it. I don't want to determine that I absolutely hate something and say it's junk or say, oh, they should have did this or they should have did that unless I actually use the tool for a while and get a feel for it. And then that way myself, I can determine, okay. I don't like that that grip is that big. The only time I messed with the comfort grip is they had a display at the store and I put it in my hand. And I was like, ooh, that's too beefy. That's too bulky. Because I'm so used to the Snap-on and the Mako and the Carlisle comfort grips. So I went ahead and picked these two comfort grips up to go ahead and test them out. Use them for a couple months to see actually if I don't like them or if I do. Let's go ahead and get them opened up and look at them. Be right back. Alrighty guys, so I'm back, got them both opened up. Let's go ahead and start. Okay, well, I forgot to even tell you what they were. I got the low profile 90 tooth quarter inch drive 
And then I got the low profile 92 3H drive, non flex, nothing like that. They're just straight ratchets. Of course, got our little polishing rag here, a little icon rag. Throw that to the side. Comes in your little blow molded case there. You know, I don't keep my ratchets in nothing like this. But that's, that is pretty neat for, you know, like, like I was saying in another video, your DIY, your grandfather or maybe your dad or someone that you know doesn't have a whole bunch of tools but you buy him a little socket set and you buy him a little ratchet to go with it he could keep it in this little box so that he doesn't just have his ratchet laying around or he loses or something he could put it in here and then put this back over top of it and it's always protected and he knows where it's at whenever he needs it or he could just leave it in this keep this on top of it throw it under the seat of the pickup throw it in the glove box something like that and just a little 10 to 9 8 to 19 or so on and so forth socket set underneath the pickup truck seat and boom he's got a ratchet in a little box he's got a little socket set he's good to go he can go to town he can fix anybody he sees he sees a car broke down boom he's gonna bust out the trusty icon ratchet and he's gonna just go ratchet on him you hear that bad daddy yeah that's smoother than a $3 hooker down on Sullivan Ave in Columbus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty smooth, son. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now we're turning her on. Turning the icon ratchet on. Do not immerse in fluids. Don't get it too wet and excited, boys, or this ratchet will not be good. It says it right on there. But here's the grip. Like I was saying before, I'm not a big fan of the feel, and I do not like how they put the icon on the side. It should either be on the top or the bottom. Just my opinion. Everybody has opinions. I know someone down below is going to blah, 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 blah. Why are you always complaining about the grip, this, that, and the other? Just use it. It's just a tool. You know, when I spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars a year, on tools alone I'll complain about tools if I want to but that's your three eight or that's your quarter inch drive seven inches long this is the actual size of it it says seven sixteenths that way seven inch oh you better focus dude seven inches long says actual size here's the back of the box for you so you can pause it or whatever so you can read it Oh yeah, your part number is R1SG. There's the rest of the back of the box. Lifetime warrantied. Does have an alarm in package in case you're one of those dirty crooked ones and you try to steal this from Harbor Freight that can't afford this ratchet from Harbor Freight. Then you got a situation, you need to get back to work. But that's the quarter inch ratchet. Let's go ahead and bust out our 3 8 ratchet on them. Once again, got you a little polishing rag. You never know when you need to polish it up. Here's our 3 8 ratchet. Oh my god, would you. The chrome on. I ain't gonna lie to you, boys. For being an icon, the chrome's pretty nice. Guys, you can't even hear that, really, honestly. Shoot, that's smoother than a hooker on Fifth Avenue, let alone Sullivan. The ones with Sullivan are pretty nasty. Fifth Ave is down in the gutters of Columbus. And that's pretty smooth there, boys. Let's go to the off position. Still nice and smooth. This one you can't immerse in fluids either. So don't be getting too excited while you're using your ratchet and get it all wet and stuff because it will not work properly. Keep yourself under control, please. But look. They did the icon right on this grip. That one must have been a mess up. I'm telling you guys, this icon stuff is just pumped out of these factories. They're having their quality control is not nowhere near being on point. Their quality control absolutely not good. Icon, I know you're mad at me. I know you are. We can kiss, make up, cuddle, go on the swing sets. I'll push you a little bit on the swing set. You push me a little. You know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back. Get your quality control under control. This is getting ridiculous. This is how the grip should be, or this should be on the bottom side, one or the other. Not on the side like that dang ratchet right there. 
that is unacceptable. I'm mad. Just like those other sockets, when I talk to you and you say, oh, that must have missed heat treating or blah, 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 blah. And then you get other people that are putting the same videos out. Boom, these Chrome 38 sockets, they're not lasting. They're wallowing out. They're damaged. They look like junk after a month or two of usage. That's absolutely unacceptable. And you're comparing them to Snap-on and Mako and all that. They're worse than freaking gear wrench and that's hard to say because I absolutely honestly the only thing I buy from gear wrench anymore is I'll buy their ratchets and I'll buy their impact sockets and a couple other chrome sockets will not touch their gear wrench ratcheting wrenches I will not touch them you cannot give them to me and expect me to use them I would throw them away or I would trade them in for Pittsburgh Harbor Freight ones or the Icon ones because the Icon ratcheting wrenches are absolutely excellent but that's your 3 8 it's 9 16 that way, 9 inches and 7 16 long, says actual size, part number R2SG, here's the back of the box for you, you can pause it, read it, do whatever you got to do, once again it's lifetime warranty, there is an alarm in the box, in case you're wondering, but I'm guessing this is the number the store goes off of, 56190, that's the 3 8 one, we get you the quarter inch one. That is 56187. But guys, I'm just going to wrap it up for the ratchets. Let me go ahead and get the knife. That's going to be for this video that we're giving away in this video. Give me one second here to go ahead and grab it, and I'll be right back. There's two to choose from. Guys, I just randomly picked these knives out of... I have two big cardboard boxes filled with knives that was sent to me by someone that's sponsoring the channel. They're going to get me a little plaque banner thing made up, and we're going to put it in the background. But it's an, basically what they are is like a bulk distrib distributor of knives, um, machetes, axe, stuff like that. They sent me a couple cases of knives to give away to you guys, so we're going to go ahead and start giving them away. Each video, I'm going to give one away. And like I said in the other video, there's a couple hundred knives, so some videos we might do two or three different giveaways. But you're going to have to comment the word that was on the top of the screen, the bottom of the screen, on the side. You have to comment that down below, and you have to like the video in order to be entered to win. And then the winner will get choice of which knife they want. Now, these are some crazy-looking knives, guys. They look crazy. I've never seen a pocket knife like this. This one's orange. Look at this thing. It's weird-looking. Like, I've never seen nothing like it. When I first opened it, I was like, what in the God's creation is this? Here's your blade. It's got the little grooves right there. I mean, guys, this thing is freaking nuts. It looks crazy. You can put it on your little keychain. Bam! Bust on the head with that. Ooh, man, yeah, you can get ugly with this sucker. But, I mean, this thing's crazy, and you can grip. You can get a grip on that. But it's orange, and then this one I guess you would call pink. It'd be a pink real light purple whatever you want to call it but there's an orange and a purple one your choice of which one you get if you win but as always guys like comment share subscribe check the links out down below make sure you comment the word make sure you like the video make sure you're subscribed the winner will get choice of which knife they want alrighty guys I'll catch you in the next one as always get out fix something I've got to go I gotta get back to work tool time out